In this video, I want to talk about how to use other people's money to start and scale your Amazon business. But most importantly, I'm going to share with you guys two tips on how you can raise even more money than you could ever think of. So many of you guys that know who I am and know about my background story, in 2015 is when I started selling on Amazon, but I had just lost half a million dollars in my restaurant business and I was about $150,000 in debt. Wow! But yet I was able to invest about $15,000 to start my Amazon business. And I know sometimes that sounds confusing because on one end, I'm saying that I'm, I was in debt and on the other end, I invested 15K. So how exactly was I able to do that? You see, not only was I in debt, but I also had bad credit. I also couldn't even apply for a credit card and everyone around me that really would lend me any type of money had already lent me money and they just wouldn't trust me. So what I did is I used the concept of OPM and to break that down a little bit for you, if you think of buying a house, for an example, you're not paying cash for the house. You're putting down payment of 10%, 15%, 20%, and then you're borrowing the rest to buy the house. The same thing when you get a degree. Usually a lot of people get a uh, student loan and the collateral, which is what is like, what is the, the bank have uh, uh, as collateral is your degree. You're going to get a degree. You're going to get a job in return. You're going to use that job to pay back the money, right? Well, if you're going to, you know, get a loan to get a house or to buy a house, which is a, a liability really more than an asset. And we can go into that argument in, in, in another video. If you're going to get a loan to get a degree that, you know, I don't know, those of you watching might already have a degree and been, you know, in loving the job that you're doing for the last 10 years, uh, and, and that's why you're here now trying to do something else, then why not do the same to start a business? Now, if you look at big companies such as Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, the reason why they go on the stock market and why they allow people to buy shares in their companies is because that's pretty much a way for them to use loans. In the beginning, they go to VCs, they go to venture capitalists, they go to banks, they get loans, but then they get to a certain level well, where they need to grow exponentially and those loans just don't work anymore. They need massive amounts of money, so they go public. And when you invest, when you spend you know, $2,000, $3,000 and buy an Amazon stock, you're pretty much lending Amazon money so they can grow. And in return, you are waiting for Amazon to grow and also, and then your stock of 3,000 now become 3,200 to 3,300. That's your interest on that bar or that money borrowed. So when I understood that about other people's money, my horizon simply exploded because now I wasn't looking at my bank account and trying to start a business on a budget, which is what a lot of people do. And that's maybe the issue that you're in right now, that you're facing right now, is that you're looking at your bank account and saying, Bashar's talking about I need 10 grand to start this business, but I only have 2,000. I only make $3,000 a month. Well. You cannot let your limitations stop you there because that's why there is the concept of other people's money. And I know that society and our parents raised us to not borrow money. My dad was a successful entrepreneur back home in Iraq, and he always used to say, I never borrow money from people. I never partner up with people. I do everything on my own. And although in some cases that can actually get you somewhere, but if you're trying to build a big business, if you really want to explode your financial your finances, and if you really want to provide your family with an incredible future, you cannot let that limit you. So now what I want to go into is the two concepts that you need to know before you can go and ask people for money. But before I do that, if this is your first time on the channel, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. Also turn the bell so that way you can get notified every time we drop a brand new video. Now you see, when you are trying to raise money, right? If say Amazon came to you and said, you know, we need to raise X amount of dollars. And if you had it, would you even think about like giving it to them. You probably wouldn't. You probably would do it in a split second. Now, if, you know, Bob Smith, who's got a, a an idea in their mind and that they want to start a business came to you and asked for the same amount of money, you'd probably ask 10,000 questions. You'd probably, you know, not want to do, you'd probably be very skeptical. Very skeptical. You probably would be, you know, not very willing to give that money. So what is the difference you may ask? Well, you see, Amazon has a proven concept and a proven business. Bob Smith doesn't. And when you are starting, you're gonna be Bob Smith. You're gonna not have a proven concept, especially if you are just starting out. Now, if you already have an Amazon business that's doing already pretty good and that has traction, it'll be easier for you to raise money. But if you are just starting out or thinking to start out, trying to raise money could be a little difficult. But I wanna share with you guys a tip that will help you raise money 
quicker or be more efficient about how much money you raise. And that's simply having a vehicle, understanding exactly what it is that you are doing and how you're going to do it, right? So it, it's two parts. First, you got to have a vehicle and second, you got to have a blueprint. So the vehicle for you in this example is Amazon FBA. You can't just go to someone, an investor or a friend or a brother or uh, a cousin or an uncle or a mom or dad or whatever and just say hey i need ten thousand dollars to start a business the first thing they're going to ask is what the hell kind of business are you going to start and you want to be able to give them a, a, a clear answer you want to be able to drive them to some videos you want to be able to provide them some type of material a business plan now obviously you don't want to complicate it and, and go and create a, a 50 page business plan but they, you want to be able to provide them one context and this is why having a vehicle is very important to gain their trust so that way they can trust you with their money the second thing is having a blueprint and what that means is you have a vehicle but how exactly are you going to make it happen you've never done this before why should i trust you with my money are you going to succeed that's the very first question someone is going to ask so for example for me when i wanted to borrow money first i had a vehicle which was amazon fba number two i i took some courses that taught me how to sell on amazon successfully so when i went to borrow money when i got asked what are you going to do with the money number one i'm going to sell on amazon number two do you know what you're doing no but here's a program that's going to teach me exactly how to do it. Number three, how long is it going to take me to get my money back? You could either do one of two things. You could either borrow money for interest and at least say, hey, 12 months. Number two, you could bring on a partner. And there are pros and cons into both, but I'll go into those uh, pros and cons and kind of the whole partnership thing in a different video. So again, once I understood that I didn't need to start a business on a budget, I was able to realize that my success is uncapped. And instead of looking at my bank account and realizing that I only have two or $3,000, I went out and I found out how much is really needed to be successful on Amazon. And this is when I found someone to help me with that money. First, I found a blueprint and then I, ha I found someone to give me that money. Now, I know that some of you guys might be wondering, but you know, everyone I know is broke. And let me tell you this. I had just met my wife for six months and she was still my girlfriend at the time. This was 2014. During that six month period, I was able to borrow $5,000 from her mom and I was able to charge a couple courses on my girlfriend's credit card, right? And I had only known her for six months. And trust me when I say this, they come from a, a middle-class family, right? And so her dad is a handyman. Uh, uh, you know, they, they don't struggle to make ends meet, but they also don't have BMWs and Mercedes parked in, in, in the garage. And so they they had some savings, but I they you know I had only been dating their daughter for six months. And and my you know those of you that that are watching that understand a little bit more about the Middle Eastern culture, you don't just come around and start dating my daughter, let alone borrow money from us. And that's after you had wasted about half a million dollars in another business, and now you're trying to start another business. Like there was zero trust. So again, you just have to look around you. And what I would do is I would create a list of say top ten to twenty people that you may think that may have the money. And, and you wanna shoot for at least 10 to $15,000. And it could be multiple people, right? You could either go into partnership or you could just simply borrow the money for at least 12 months. And then so first you wanna have a vehicle, which for you could be Amazon FBA. And number two, you wanna make sure that you have a blueprint that'll teach you. So that way your investor or the person lending you the money could uh, uh, have more trust that you actually can and, and, and have the support to make it happen. And again, that list could also include banks. It could include credit cards. Um, it could literally include anything. And 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 what I would do is I would build kind of like a, a presentation to, to take to them and start pitching them on your idea and what it is exactly you're trying to do. And this is why research, blueprint, support is very needed for you to be successful and to present to them that you know what you're doing. Outside of that, hope you found value in this video. I wanna give you one last gift before you go. If you click right over here, there's a video that breaks down to you all the cost about Amazon, how much it costs and where your money goes. So that way, when you go and present to your investor or to the person, you know, to your potential partner, you could show them where all that money's gonna go because they're gonna ask you, I'm gonna give you this money. What are you gonna spend it on, right? And you wanna be able to answer them those questions. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the other video. Take care.